The NBA is sure to go under a significant transformation at 12.01 on Thursday morning when the powers that be, the power brokers of this 2010 NBA free agent class, begin to make their individual decisions, which will have a dramatic effect on the future landscape of this great league. Good evening, everyone. My name is Kevin McChan. Delighted you chose to join me on this Tuesday, June 29th, 2010, and I wanted to take a few minutes of your time tonight to discuss with you my thoughts on the supposed free agent summit that occurred this weekend between the Wayne Wade, Chris Bosch, and, of course, everyone's free agent prize this summer in LeBron James. Multiple sources, including ESPN senior writers Chris Broussard and Mark Stein, are all reporting that uh, the supposed summit took place in South Beach between the three most influential figures in this free agent class. Now the question is, will it actually happen? Can Pat Riley pull off the free agent coup of the century? I still have my doubts. And how will it all come together? Will it become a sign and trade for Chris Bosch where he leaves Toronto with something instead of leaving them high and dry? Or does the outright sign with the heat, leaving the only team he's ever known high and dry? And what about LeBron James? Does he seriously want to leave the only team he's ever known? And how will this affect Dwayne Wade, with sharing the spotlight with two of the most impactful figures in the NBA in his city. These are all questions which will have to be answered in the future in order to make this work, if it does indeed happen. I must admit, if it does, it's, import it's appointment viewing. Now we have to look at what does this mean for the rest of the league? For teams like New Jersey, New York, and of course the Bulls, who've cleared more than $30 million in cap space, will all be fighting over three players, Carlos Boozer, Joe Johnson, and Amari Stoudemire. If Tom Thibodeau and the Bulls can get a second-rate prize of Joe Johnson and Amari Stoudemire, that's quite the coup. The same can be said for the Knicks, because I think they'll be out of the free agent sweet state of LeBron James, because I just don't see how he'll go to the Ming Apple. In my judgment, it's between three teams for the King Services, Chicago, Cleveland, and Miami, with Miami clearly now, according to multiple sources, being the front runner. So the question is, how will this all transpire? Where will they all land? That, that's what makes it fun. And now we're all left to see how it all plays out. As always, I thank you for watching this edition of the McShan Sports Beat Report. Kevin McShan Reporter.